Lady. Oh, really? Hmm? I see. So basically, Dorothy was right. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Uh, okay, I'm... Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I'm just gonna the case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. True. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so, as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you Why have an inclination to learn more shop? about vampires or I'm your current off. situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. I don't give a fuck if I'm a newborn or not. All right, well, guys, we'll just talk I to I bid you later. farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Right, I'll just upload that last part then.